Oh my goodness. I am absolutely booted this morning, guys. Oh, what's cranking wieners? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Sorry if I look a little sleepy this morning. We were up mega late, doing a little bit of shark fishing. Just sleep is not a thing up here when you're fishing with Elliot and Ray. It's it's just mostly uh, how many sharks you can catch, how many white claws you can smash, and how many good uh, memories you can make, I suppose. But yeah, we're back at it. To catch you guys up to speed, for those of you who have not watched any of the previous videos, these are just some of the highlights from this trip thus far. Oh, hooked up. There we go, baby. Let's try to keep this rod in one piece. There you go, out. Wow, perfect, easy. Oh geez. I can get it, I can see the rod. Hand it to me. I'm pulling one in by hand. Ready? There she goes. There she goes. As you can see, it has been insanity down here in Florida. We've got a new morning ahead of us at 7, 7 a.m. right now, 7, 10 a.m. We're gonna go uh, do something a little bit different today. We're gonna go offshore, fish for some fish species that I've never targeted. I don't really know what to expect, to be honest. Um, Elliot dipped this morning. I don't know where he's at. I think he's meeting the captain of the boat that we're gonna be fishing on. Oh wow, we're cutting her close, 722. Elliot was pretty persistent on us getting there at 730. Where's this place at, do you know? It's yeah, a mile away. away. Right. Oh dude, we're not gonna make it. bank of it doing a little bit of wreck fishing which is basically where you find a bit of structure in the middle of the abyssal zone drop down baits whether it be dead bait cut bait pinfish but this is like brian's game this is one thing he does a lot when he's guiding for people out here so we're just we're experiencing honestly one of my favorite things to do when i come to florida and that is just fishing vertically for big fish and we might keep some and cook some today and do a nice little catch and cook for you guys oh, so or that or, or john just or just smoke him yeah. <laughs> Brian's like, yo, bass fishermen are brutal. Too much bushes baked beans on that one. Nice, oh, dude. A little, is that a grunt? Yeah. That's a, grunt. That's a cool looking fish, man. Check her out. First one of the day, guys. We went from shark fishing to now doing some vertical fishing. We're supposed to make a noise, but he's not he's not very vocal right now. Insane colors. First of many, hopefully. Time to throw him back. There we go. There we go. Hooked up. Wow, this is fun. Thir thoroughly enjoy this rod. Wicked. A little lane. Tasty fish. Nice work, bro. Got some meat in the locker. Got a little lane snapper. We are on a meat mission. A meat mission, that's a good way to put it. Oh, this is ugly. This is ugly. <laughs> the thing is, it's probably not even that big of a fish, but it's just putting everything into this rod. It's so much fun. I love taking light gear and just put it up against saltwater fish. That was so sad. <laughs> this is fun. Double. Double. Oh wow, this is a pretty good one. Oh, that's a stud. Oh, get it again, get it again, get it again. He's barely hooked. Damn, dude. <laughs> Not a bad one. I thought it was little. Got him. Dude, <laughs> on that rod? On the little seven oh foot inch. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, I got it too. Oh, we got to get room back. <laughs> We're tripled, right? So yeah, I'm raise up. I just realized, oh my yeah, God. What in the nut, man? This is some hecticness. Oh, check her out, dude. That's so sick. These are the fish we were after. And to do it on, on, on light gear, it's just nutty. Nutty, man. This is why Florida's epic. You can do sharks on the, on the beach and the docks, or you can mess up some, some groupers out in the abyss. Meet Locker City. Oh, oh, oh. Studs, let's go! So far, the meat mission looks like it's going pretty good. Pretty damn good. Let's go feed some more. Draw on the audience. 
That feels alright, y'all. That feels alright. That feels alright. Right. Right. Okay. That feels good. Oh my god, dude. This is epic. This is epic. Woo! Yes, sir! Just hanging over, getting my feet wet. Then all of a sudden, oh my god, I just get railed by something good. I don't know what this is, but I'm hoping it's a nice grouper. Big sandwich incoming. <laughs> this is fun. My god, this is fun. So the key when you're gaffing is to hit the line and break them off. Oh, it's yeah. oh, a good one! Oh, He's palming his pool! I saw that! Nice! They're just like, like vicious saltwater smallmouth. They go nuts. Just, just get a look at that fish, dude. Just such a crazy, dude, they're drumming too. Loving it, loving it up here in Florida. Hell yeah, we're racking them up now. We have got a serious piece on our hands. Change spots, this is, Probably gonna be our last little zone, right, Brian? Yeah, I thought of a couple other spots, but you know what? What happens is, okay, that's only 3.7 miles. Hey, let's go to the next spot. Yeah. Oh, that's 3.7 miles. Up. Yeah, and the next thing you know, hey, we gotta go in. It's the, it's the last cast in. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, you're stuck in a rock there, Brian. Uh-oh. Get him out. We're good. We're good. We're we're soft. We're soft. Oh, wow. oh, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, jeez. There we go. What a gong show. First row seat of the gong show. How's yours feel? Not as big. Not as big. Mine's just nice. He's actually putting on some power. He's got some heat on him, though. Yeah. What kind of test is this? Uh, oh, yours? I don't know. No, the leader. You put uh, on 30. 30. I think that's why you guys are getting more hits. <laughs> really? They, yeah. got, they got 50 years here. Wow, this Ooh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, it's working again. yeah, it's back to normal. <laughs> it takes turn. It takes turns going in and out. Yeah, it feels weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See me? Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. Just heard him bump. What is it? Nice gag. Oh, that's a stud gag. That's a stud. Oh, dude, that would be some food. That's a cool fish. Well, Brian jumped to spot number I think three or four for the day. We're still dropping down on some structure, and yeah, my biggest ever gag grouper. Really cool looking fish. You can, tell, you can definitely tell the difference. This guy's more like, uh, it's like gray. He's got some whites, some browns, whereas like those red grouper are a little bit more like patterned out. They got like bigger shoulders. This guy's lean. Oh, strong. Face. Just keep him busy over there. <laughs> really cool fish. We're gonna snag a picture and then put him back. All right, you can't keep him. It's time to send this guy back on his way. That was awkward. <laughs> Not graceful, but she's back in the water. And buddy, you've got a fish as well. What's going on over there? Uh, I was focusing on you. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's hilarious. Dude, look at that meat. Bro, we were going to eat like kings. kings. Now, yesterday we crushed five and a half pounds of stone eats, stone crab claws. And then today, thanks to Brian, we are going to eat some grouper. By the way, guys, if you ever come down to Captiva or Florida, you definitely need to link up with Brian. As you saw, he put a couple of knuckleheads on some serious fishing. I'll leave his Instagram and business link down below. So if you guys do come down here, you can do exactly what you saw us do today. And then I would also recommend bringing some, uh, some light action rods because that, like this is really what makes it insane. Dropping down to 90 feet and pulling up a giant grouper. It's epic. But yeah, really nice guy. First time we're meeting, first time we're fishing with him, and it was an absolute blast. From here, as you guys probably know, I'm pacing Doc right now. I'm just so excited. We're gonna go back to Elliot's place, gonna go cook up that grouper and do a nice little cook part to our catch and cook that we're filming today. It's gonna be a rip. Stick with it. Check the fillets. This looks delicious. It's incredible how much meat you get off these fish. And we caught like four? Do we keep four? Five? This is heavy. Never filleted grouper in my entire life. As you may be able to tell, just an absolute hack job. Elliot did these ones. I uh, attempted to do these. We're gonna go take them over to the, uh, the green egg and cook them up. And I don't know, first time ever cooking grouper. This should be very exciting. I know they taste good, but I've never like cooked it and done it myself. This is ocean to filet to grill to then our mouths. It's gonna be tasty. Mm. 
my God, we're about to toss this big, beautiful filet in the egg. Uh, actually, Pam, we're staying at their place, Pam of Coast Place. Uh, she hooked this up. This is kind of like her recipe. We caught the fish. We did that part, but what she did is uh, just garnish this in some in some serious flavors. I'll kind of break this down to my best of my ability. We got shallots, we got garlic, we got capers, rinsed it in some lemon juice, and we're just gonna throw it in this egg and let it cook for like probably 35, 40 minutes. Oh, by the way, it's on a cedar plank. Best way to do fish. So we're gonna toss this in there and uh, just sit and wait for the big beautiful fillets to cook. Am I doing this right? Yep, just like that. Oh yeah. Unreal, see ya. Very cool. Now we wait. Wow. Dynamite. You are a crab, John. You are the crab. So hot. Got it. Done, so. Good lord. From ocean to hook, to fillet knife, to grill, now to our mouths. This is a beaut. We couldn't have done this without Pam. She's down there right now. She said she didn't want to be on video, but I do have to give her a notable shout out because she came up with the recipe. She arranged this. We just did the easy part. We caught the fish and she set this up for us, cooking out of her egg. And uh, I might have to say that's the best looking fish I think I've ever seen. This is gonna be not only gorgeous, but it's also gonna be very delicious. So we are going to crush a little piece. We're not gonna waste a moment. We're not even gonna let this cool down. Have a little flake. Oh, it flakes right off. Wow. You guys ready for this? I wish you were here to, to try this with us, but you'll just have to use your imagination. Oh my God. Grouper is tough to beat. It is so tough to beat. Like tuna and grouper, probably my two favorite fish. Very different fish, but they're so delicious. Anyway, guys. I love to sit around and chat about this meal, but um, we're gonna crush this, we're gonna eat this, we're gonna feast. Thank you so much for watching. Get out there, do a catch cook for yourself, uh, whether it be fresh water or salt water, get some fish, bring them home, cook them up in a meal, throw some capers on there, some lemon, some shallots, garlic, call it a day. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for the video, we appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop. There's one. There we go. There's one. No way. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, nice. that's so sick. Got him. That was so sick. That was so sick, boys. <laughs>